Researchers now know that parrots have the emotional intelligence of a two-year-old. So getting a parrot is basically like getting a two-year-old that stays two for 15 to 30 years. And if you spent any time with a two-year-old human child, then you know that they're in need of constant attention, stimulation, interaction, and entertainment. And the same goes for a Kanye. Welcome back to the channel. Sandra here, mommy to Lambo, Mango, and Mia, our sweet little M&Ms. If you're a dog or parrot lover, then you've come to the perfect place. Don't forget to join us by subscribing and hitting that cute little bell so you can get notifications whenever we upload new videos. So my poodle and parrot pals, let's jump into it. The costs that I'm going to share with you today are on average because as you might already know, the cost of these different things like birds or aviaries or toys are going to depend on your geographical location. In some places, these things are cheaper. In others, they're a little bit more expensive. So I use the average costs of what each of these are going to be approximately. And I also based it off of our personal experience with Mango and with Mia. Let's talk about the cost of the bird. So the type of parrot that you're getting is really going to depend on the cost. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to share the average cost of a sun conure and a green cheek conure. Now I'm always going to recommend that when you're choosing to get a parrot, that you go to to a breeder or you can also adopt from your local shelter. But the reason why I say going to a breeder is that you're probably going to have the best experience. It might be the most expensive option, but it's totally worth it. You are able to see firsthand the conditions and the environment that the birds are born into and raised. You're also able to verify that you are in fact purchasing a captive bred. The price of a sun conure is going to depend on where you live. So for example, a sun conure in Thailand is much cheaper than a sun conure in Canada or in the United States. It's going to range anywhere from 200 to $800 and the average cost is about $400. Now let's talk about green cheek conures. A green cheek conure is going to cost anywhere from $150 to $600, and the average for a green cheek is $375. Unique color mutations such as the pineapple green cheek conure and the turquoise green cheek conure varieties can command higher prices of around $400 to $750. But again, this is going to depend on your geographical location. If you're looking for a breeder, one thing that would be a red flag is if the bird doesn't come with a bird band or if the breeder is not registered, or if the prices are astronomically high, then that should be a red flag. But too low of a price also might indicate that the breeder is not legitimate or that the bird is even sick and has a disease. Yeah. So this is all the stuff that you're going to need before you get your bird. So for example, we got Mia from a breeder. We paid for her first, but then we had four to six weeks until she was weaned off and ready to come home. So we had those four to six weeks of time to get everything that we needed for her. As you know, we relocated from Thailand to Poland, so we were basically getting everything brand new from scratch. So the first thing is choosing a awesome, large aviary for your bird. Now, I've mentioned this before, but the bigger, the better. And if you Google, it'll give you some small measurements and say that that is a great size for your conure, but I totally disagree because conures and parrots are active birds. 
they need exercise, they love to climb, stretch their wings, play with toys, and they need space. So your bird's aviary is like their bedroom. And just like your home or your apartment, you're investing to live there. So you want to invest in where your bird is going to live when they're not flying around your home. Now, the average that you're going to spend on a really good quality big cage is going to be anywhere from $200 to $600. If you are able to and it's in your budget, you can even get a little bit crazier. And I'm sure that there are really large cages for $1,000 and up. But on average, if you budget for $200 to $600, you're going to be able to get a really good quality large cage for your parrot. And remember, there are cheaper routes to all of these things. You can get a cage or aviary that's under $200, even for $100, even for under $100. But those ones are not going to be good quality. They're going to be flimsy. They might have dangerous doors that don't lock properly, and they're more than likely going to be small. We do have a cage that we take with us when we're traveling and going on road trips because you guys know that we love to do that a lot and we go glamping often. So Mia does have a glamp cage and I spent about 100 or $120 on this one and it's great, but this is only something that we use temporarily when we go away. So now that you have a aviary or a cage, we need to fill it. So the first thing, which is going to be basic, is lining the bottom. I like to use recycled paper or paper towel. I would say that I probably don't use more than one roll of paper towel for the month, and a roll of paper towel costs me about $2. You wanna make sure that you have purchase and you wanna have a variety of different purchases. Average cost of purchase are four to $28 per perch, and you're gonna want to get at least four or five different perches. I really love this Java tree perch, and that one cost me $22. You could also get a shower perch, and these are great to put on the tiles in the bathroom so that your bird can shower with you, or you can stick them onto the windows, which are great too. And these go on average for $20. And there's also a sisal rope, and you'll see that Mia has one in her cage here, and she's just got them all over the house. But a sisal rope on average, if we look at Planet Pleasures, is $15 to $40. Next are food and water bowls. So I always like to have three in each of the aviaries, one for fresh food, one for dry food, and one for water slash bathing. So the one for water, I like to choose a bowl that's a little bit bigger so that they can also bathe in it. And if I've seen that my bird has bathed, then after they're done bathing, I'll make sure to change the water as well. These bowls on average cost anywhere from five to $9 each. Next, let's talk about toys. Now toys are really important, having a variety of toys, different materials, paper, wooden, foraging toys is going to be really important because it's a source of enrichment for your parrot and it keeps their beaks busy and it's great for their mental well being. In the beginning, your initial cost for toys is going to be a little bit more because you're going to want to get a bundle of toys so that you're able to rotate the toys when you're changing things up in your bird's little bedroom. Toys on average are going to cost anywhere from five to $15. Sometimes they can be a little bit more. Just be really careful because we also don't want to cheap out completely on the toys because they can be made with dyes and colors and materials that are not safe for birds, dangerous hooks and things like that. Then I would also throw in getting safe hooks they're like these steel snap hooks and you can usually get them for six dollars for a pack of four to six so i would get one to two packs of those not all toys are going to come with safe steel snap hooks we have everything to get started with our birds but now we need to think about food and water so when it comes to water i'm going to suggest getting a water filter because it's going to be much cheaper in the long run. I love it because it filters out all 
the stuff that you don't want to be drinking and your bird shouldn't be drinking either. Now, a water filter, for example, the one that we have is on average $25 to $30. Plus, you're also going to want to get filters for the future, and that is on average another $30. Let's talk about dry food. So dry food that you're going to want to get for your bird is pellets. When it comes to pellets, I love Harrison's, Tops, and I know that Bird Tricks also has a really great high quality cold press pellet. Harrison's one pound bag costs about $9. With Tops, you could get a three pound bag for $13. I know that Tops also sells sample packs, so you would be able to get a small pack first to see if your bird's going to like it. If they don't like Tops, then try Harrison's. More dry food, this is going to be treats. So you're going to want to get some treats for your bird when it comes to training, and that's going to include things like millet, seeds, and nuts. Now, on average, millet costs about $16 for a 500 gram bag. Pine nuts cost about $25 for a bag of 227 grams. Almonds are about $13 for a bag that's 454 grams. Walnuts are $15.50 for a bag that's 340 grams and cashews are $13 for a bag that's 284 grams. Now, these bags of nuts, I do recommend to get two or three different types of nuts, just so that you have a variety to offer your bird, and you can also figure out which ones are the highest reward for them. And then with the nuts, you're also probably going to be breaking them apart. If you have a conure, then an almond can be split into four or six different pieces. A walnut can also be split into like six or eight different pieces. Another great one is Nutriberries. Nutriberries cost about $11 for a bag that's 284 grams. You're also going to want to consider getting a UV light. You're also going to want to get a cage cover. The best thing that you can do for your bird when they're going to sleep is they have complete darkness and silence. If it's not complete darkness, then you'll want to get a bird cover to put over top. And there's lots of them online. You can check out Amazon or you can even get something like a black sheet that's going to go over top. And a bird cover on average costs anywhere from $15 to $20. The next thing that you're going to want to get as part of your initial costs is some type of bird carrier. So it might be a bag style or a backpack style. And the average cost of these bird carriers are anywhere from $16 to $177. If you're looking to get a backpack, I would budget somewhere around $40 and those are awesome. I love the backpacks. They're just my favorite and they're convenient and they're light, but a bird carrier or transporter is going to be needed for when you're bringing your bird home, whenever you're going to the vet or if you're traveling. The next one is some tree stands or swings and ropes to have around the home. So you want to bird proof your home, but you also want to make it very inclusive for them. When it comes to the tree stands, I really love the Java ones. Now you can get a small one or you can get a bigger one. I got this smaller one for about $26. The tree stands can cost anywhere from $26 to $420. So it just depends on the size that you're getting. You want to make sure that you're taking your bird for an annual vet checkup every year just to make sure that everything is groovy like a drive-in movie. After going over all of those, our true initial cost of getting a conure or a small to medium sized bird is going to cost us $1,200. Let's talk about the monthly costs of having a conure. Each month you might want to get a couple of new toys. Then we also need to get fresh food for our birds. The other thing is recycled paper or like I mentioned, paper towel, and that's approximately $2 a month. And then an optional monthly cost would be to have exotic avian pet insurance and that on average costs about $20 a month. 
Here are some extras that we didn't consider that are going to be really helpful, but they also are optional. So one is a spray bottle, and a spray bottle is great for bathing. I like the ones that mist really gently, and those I find are really great. So you can get a spray bottle for anywhere from five to $10. Another great thing to have, and I love this, especially when we're going out of the house for a few hours, is a pet cam. And I'll set up the pet cam right on Mia's aviary so that if I want to have a peek on my phone, I can see what she's up to and make sure that she's okay. Another great one is a training clicker, and this is going to be great for training with your bird. They're really inexpensive. They're about $5. Another thing that your vet might recommend, because sometimes birds have certain deficiencies, is going to be minerals or supplements, so those are going to come at an extra cost. But just as an example, our avian vet suggested getting one of those a calcium cuddle bone and those are about five to seven dollars so that's it for today guys thanks so much for tuning in with me and mia don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe for a good vibe and we'll see you guys in the next video